All right, it's about eight in the morning in sunny South Florida. Um, since the last video, we got this last remaining stretch of pipe dug up. And that's the approximate position of where I see the pump going there. And I was planning on teeing into one of those uh, areas in the manifold there. So I still got to dig back here. You coming, Liz? Or are you filming too? We're both filming? Let's go. Go, go ahead. So we gotta go all the way down here. All the way. And through that mess there. So that's gonna be a job. So we'll pick it up once we make some progress. All right, so my little helper helped me, uh, well, this little helper, helped me dig all the way back here. And our cat was playing with catnip. Yep, all the way back here. We got inch and a half PVC going into the canal back there. You probably can't see it too well, but at the end I have a, um, a strainer with a sock on top of it to filter out any large particulates. Then I have a uh, check valve so that water stays in the pipe when the pump is off. We don't want the pump to be sucking a lot of air. And then I have an inch and a half fern coat right there, right on the water line in case I need to service that or take it out for any reason. That makes it very easy to do. Um, so now the next step is to plumb in the pump and wire it up and give it a test. <gasps> tadpoles. Yeah, I know, a little fishies, right? No, tadpoles aren't fishies. They turn into eggs. Uh, they turn into fun. That's right. Some of them do. That's All right. So on. that's uh, that's where we're at right now, and uh, we'll pick it up as we plumb in the pump. I'll show you what we plan on doing with the pump. <clears throat> Come on, Liz. Yeah. All right. So obviously, this this pipe coming up out of the water. Uh, the ground, rather, is um, from the canal. You can see that it is holding water down there, which is good. The check valve is doing its job. Alyssa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. Stop that. I'm going to Okay, but you turn the hose on full blast. You only need a little bit of water. Okay. So the plan is to do a 90-degree elbow into that fitting right there. I'm going to put a T on top of there so I can use it to both prime and if I want to take water from the canal, like for garden hose for watering or whatnot. Because the, the canal water is probably better for the shrubbery than city water is. It doesn't have any treatment. It's got probably got lots of fertilizer and fish, fish crap and all that. So. Mute the music for a second. So we're gonna stick this on top of the pump. Daddy, Alyssa, I'm busy right now. What? I'm gonna play okay, go ahead. My truck's in the way though. You're not gonna be, are you gonna be able to? Yeah. So we're gonna come off the pump about like that with a T. We're gonna step the inch and a half down to one inch, which is what that manifold is. I hope it doesn't cause any problems. Um, that's quite a step down, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so we'll pick it up when that's ready to go. And I forgot to mention, we're gonna pull power from here. I'm gonna run half inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC conduit all the way over to about here, and then transition to flex and go to the pump. And my sprinkler wire comes down through there, so we'll have to figure out where best to mount that box so that everything fits and I don't have to extend that wire. I did leave some extra in there on purpose, but you all know how that goes. All right, picking up in a bit. All right, guys. So I roughed in the electrical. I ran half inch um, PVC, schedule 40. Still have another couple clamps to put on to this uh, Monroe start box here. This is basically a contact relay. Okay, so we got that start box there. It's a 24 volt relay here that's gonna get wired into the sprinkler timer on the master valve. Got a flexible conduit going down here to the back of the pump. 
Uh, I did have the intake side of the pump plumbed up. I didn't do the output yet. I was going to do that last once the pump is ready to go and primed and everything. Because um, I did. I want the sprinklers to be able to run during the week if I don't finish this at all today. Um, so yeah, just got to hook up the sprinkler timer there, the plumbing there. I'm going to stick a, a new breaker in here. This is just a GE Powermark gold panel. panel. So this is a, obviously an outside panel. There's one on the inside that's quite a bit bigger than this that feeds the rest of the house. So just got to stick a breaker in here and call it a day. And I guess for those of you that don't know much about wiring, um, the hot wire, I'm going to wire the pump for 110 because I don't really have enough space in here for a double pole breaker for 240. So the hot wire for 110 goes to, or 120 goes to the breaker. The white wire goes to the neutral bus, which is over there with the other white wires. And the ground goes over here to the ground bus. And on the main panel, which this is because it's right off the meter, the neutral and uh, the ground bus bars are bonded with this bonding jumper here. If this was a sub panel, that would come off and then you would separate the neutrals from the from the grounds. So pretty straightforward. I'm not a big fan of these thin GE breakers. Uh, they do have a tendency to go bad, and but that's all I can fit in here at the moment, unfortunately. As you can see, the bus bus bar only goes down one, one more stab there and there's only one free there. I don't want to take out my surge protector and I don't want to do away with my generator. And I've got an interlock on that generator breaker. So it is what it is, not the end of the world. So we'll pick it up when it's all wired up. All right, guys, so I got that panel wired up. I have the start box all wired up, the motor start relay. Those two leads right there are gonna go to common, which is that right there, and all to that the wire that was going to that master valve. Um, then we just gotta do the plumbing and we're good to go. All right, YouTube, everything's all set. We got the the inch and a half coming out of the ground, going into the intake side of the pump. I installed that little um, garden hose bib here, both to uh, relieve air, and also in case I want to hook a garden hose up to it. That transitions into one inch, and I realize it's not ideal, but that's what my manifold was. So I teed off the end there, hooked it up there, closed it off with a ball valve, and to be code compliant, I have an air gap with city water right there, and the city water is shut off. So I confirmed everything runs okay. I just wanted to give you kind of the summary of the job here and everything done. I do still have to put the cover on the on the relay box and uh, that's probably about it. Just waiting for the glue to set up a little bit so uh, we don't blow any joints apart. So um, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if anybody needs any part numbers or anything like that, just leave it in the comments and I'll gladly write, it, write everything up for you. Later, bye. All right, so I just want to give you a video of everything running. Pump's very, very quiet, holding at about 40 PSI, which is about what it's rated for. So I think we're, uh, we're good to go with this one.